Okay guys, so here we go. We're gonna make a nice tasty meal. Make a nice stir fry. I have my ground beef here, defrosting. We see we freeze our meat so it can last longer. Then over here we have our pan for cooking. You need a nice size one because you're gonna make a lot of meat, stir fry. Have our cutting board, have some broccoli, some tomatoes, some carrots, some onions. Alright, so we're gonna cut that and then we're gonna start cooking our ground beef. I'll show you how to season it in about a minute. So here we go. You wanna get yourself a bowl about this big. It's a nice size. So you take your meat, drop it in there. Alright, it's a little frozen because I had it in the freezer still, but I left it overnight in the fridge, so it should be nice and thawed right now. It's a little frozen, but that's all right. That's fine. We'll cook it as we go and season it as we go. Put my meat with some distilled vinegar. You can use lemon, um, anything that works for you guys. I like to use some vinegar. Just pour it right on the top. All right, flip it over a little bit. Just gets all the cleans it up a little bit and gets a good taste. All right, let it marinate in there for a minute and then you can start up your stove. You want to put it on a medium heat. I put it on about six. And let this heat up for a minute. <clears throat> While you're doing that you can start cutting up your vegetables which is, that's what I'm about to do right now. Okay then after you have everything cut your pot should be pretty hot. Yep you have your meat ready. I have not seasoned it. I will right now once it kind of grounds down because of the fact that it is still a little frozen from last night. So I'm going to put this on the pot now so you guys can see that. Forgot to mention you might want to use a little tiny bit of oil. Right? Just to get the pan greased up. That way when you put the meat on it has something to cook on. Okay? I use pure vegetable oil um, because that's the one that I've always used, so I'm used to that. So there it goes. Now I'll come back when the meat All is right. On. So I got the meat on there, okay? Now you want to make sure, like I like to use a nice wooden spoon with some teeth on it. Some teeth on the top, like this, and just so I don't scratch my non stick pan. All right? To move this around. All right, so it is frozen, so it is defrosting still. All right. So, if you can see that it turns brown, I like to just take those shavings off and just put them to the side and they all cook together. And then slowly, this will start dissolving. Now, for my seasoning. Alright, I'm going to take my seasoning and my seasoning cabinet here. Uh, we're going to use some adobo, some garlic powder, uh, some black pepper, I have whole black pepper, right? which I'm not going to use that, but I do have a ground black pepper somewhere around here. And if not, I have a grinder that I can use. Oh, here it is. Okay, whole black pepper grinder. This works as my salt, so I'm not going to use too much salt. This is what I kind of use for most things. Um, yep, and I think that's about it. All right, okay. so you want to use some adobo. I just put a nice layer of it on the meat on both sides. Um, I'm just doing that for the top layer. And I am doing this with one hand, so I'm sorry about that. I'm recording from my iPhone. It's just a trial. Okay, so I'll put some pepper on it, and I also put some garlic powder on it, and then I'll go back. So, it's just, so I put the pepper on it, garlic, and I put one coating. Alright, that's good enough. Okay? Then you just want to mix it around, make sure the meat. Alright, so this meat is still defrosting, so I'm still taking off layers of it and having it come off. And then, of course, this would be an easier process if the meat was freshly brought, uh, but this one was frozen, so it's a little more difficult. But, as you can see in a minute, with the magic of video, we can have it done in seconds. Okay, and here we go. So, as you can see, it, um, it defrosted completely, and I cut it up into little chunks. And I keep going like this, 
Now this is only because my meat was frozen. If you are buying it freshly from the pack, you probably won't have to do this so much because of the fact that it's already from the pack so it's all mushy and stuff, so you'll be fine. Um, because I froze it, and if you're one of the people that froze their meat, then you might want to do it like this. I only put a little bit of oil. As you can tell, there's a lot of water from the meat that comes from this, and that's why all this liquid is there. I only put a little bit of oil, but all this came up. Now, <clears throat> you just want to let it marinate. You just want to let it marinate. Excuse me. And let the water dry out, all right? And then we're going to add a little bit more water so it cooks, and then we're going to add all of these in there. So you'll hear it kind of start sizzling. Um, you'll hear it. it. It's a different sound. You'll hear the tss. All right, when that happens, you want to quickly grab some tap water. All right, fill it up a little bit. You want to bring it over. Just add about a little bit of water. I already did. Um, it's about, you see how high it is. It's not that high. I just added some tap water. And we are about to put in our beautiful vegetables. Okay, so now we want to add in our vegetables. Uh, the way I'm going to do this, because I only have one hand, my hands are very clean, I'm going to take them. I'm going to just take them. I'm going to kind of smear them around. Uh, with the other ones, because the broccoli was a little bigger, I could do that easier, but maybe with the other ones I might not do it like that. Um, let me just put some carrots. Now I'm putting carrots because I like the sweet taste. Not everybody usually puts in carrots about that. So it's up to you. And then these two, I'm going to probably have to dump them out. In there. Okay. Alright. All your vegetables are there. Came all. They'll be shimmering with the the water that's still in there that's boiling that's how you get your stir fry cooking okay right. now smear it all around so it mixes you don't want to have too much of one thing or too much of the other you want to have it all smeared around it's cooking like a good stir fry <clears throat> all right now we just have to wait for that water to dry up and we're done it's a quick process Right. And if I've missed out anything, or if you have any suggestions or anything like that, please drop them in the description, in the comment box, and you know I can write back and we can have a discussion about that. All right. And please like, subscribe, and and comment. All right. For more videos, please. Okay. This is a new YouTube channel that I'm trying to start out. See how it goes. And a trial run so we'll come back when this is all done and I'll show you how it looks all right so this is just about ready just a couple seconds left drying up on the bottom and everything looks delicious ready to eat okay all right I'm gonna list all my ingredients in the description um, you know like the adobo sauce we have the garlic powder and we have the whole black pepper. Now I got all these from Aldi. This is actually from Aldi too. The pure vinegar. The meat is also from Aldi. And so are all the vegetables. So you want to make a shopping list. Stop at your local Aldi which is a very good supermarket. Very cheap um, and easy to buy. Even though you don't have the non-name brand stuff. but. It works just as well as the rest of them. Okay? Alright. So here's the stir fry. You can see it. It's really good. Alright. It's a little juicy, but it's going to dry up in about a minute. And once I turn off the heat, then the meat and the vegetables kind of absorb all the water. Alright. Well, until next time, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment. And... I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if I get enough subscribers and, and likes and comments, right, then I'll probably post some more of these. Right. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, this is CCG going out. All right, and the CCG stands for Cars, Cooking, and Guitar. <laughs>